What's that? Okay. Yeah. So we're still breaking down a little bit. Uh, oh, that's the wrong word. Still got the jacks down. Slides are in. Um, we're at Lincoln RV Park, right? Yes. In Helena. 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 Helena, Montana. Christina, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? It's white. Yeah, you haven't found snow yet, have you? Yes, I do. You know. Well, you haven't been able to play in snow yet, have you? Yeah, you remember we went somewhere else way far away and, and, we, and we saw snow? That was a long time ago, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That was when we spread Gramps' ashes. Yeah. Yeah. But on this trip, you haven't been able to play in snow yet. We've seen lots of snow. Yeah, you remember I ate snow? You ate snow, yeah. Yeah, every kid does. All right, so uh, Lincoln RV Park. I'm going to do a quick view of it. <clears throat> Quite a few uh, pull-through sites. It's a fairly large park. Um, I think they say 70 foot max. Um, we are, I forget our total length with the truck, but, you know, we're probably around 43 on the RV and then what, maybe another 15 on the truck maybe 20. So, you know, we're just shy of that, that 70. We're probably in the lower 60s <clears throat> and it fit us no problem. Um, we, uh, we needed a day to, you know, hook up to sewer and water and uh, do some laundry, flush the tanks. Tanks haven't really been flushed um, in a good seven, eight months because we've just not been on full hookups. So, when we came in, it was 76 degrees, roughly, and uh, they were having a nice warm day. Today, it's rainy, and it's in the low 60s, um, but nice park. So, about, uh, it's uh, just north of, of Helena, Montana, uh, about three, five, four or five miles north, and uh, the price was about $40 with our good Sam's, and then they added tax, of course, right? Right. So, uh, so yeah, um, nice folks here, very clean. Uh, there are a couple of full-timers here. You can see they've got their skirts on there. Well, you guys probably can't see that, but there's these RVs over here. There's two or three, maybe four, um, but uh, very well-maintained, very well-kept. Uh, just a really good experience. So. Today, oh, and we got showers, that was so great. Today, um, we're headed for the border. So we expect to be in Canada around 2.30, and then we'll look for a gas station, rest stop, or Walmart to stay at. Um, about 30 to 45 minutes in to uh, Canada, there's a couple of Walmarts. Um, I think it's Calgary that's uh, right in the border. Um, whatever the big first major city is. Uh, we are crossing at Sweetgrass, um, which is just north of Great Falls, Montana. And um, that, uh, that's that. <laughs> nothing, uh, nothing uber exciting, um, but we really did enjoy plugging in and, you know, really didn't really didn't absolutely need the power, but uh, I did hook up. Let me swap the camera here for my my inverter friends. Um, last year, when we were in Oregon, we were having a really hot day, and we were on a we were at a campground that only had 30 amp service, um, and the sun was beating down. I melted this guy. Uh, I was pulling a full 30 amps. You can see it in there. I was, I was pulling like 28 amps, running a couple air conditioners, um, really cranking away at, at the, the thing. Um, this plug right here goes into a transfer switch. This is what I hate about Arizona. Anytime you do any kind of caulking, the dust comes in and coats it, makes it look real ugly. But I, I do have a replacement for this, but this goes into a transfer switch along with the generator, right? Um, so it was easy enough just to run a 30 amp cord into the generator plug and uh, 
instead of using the generator, of course, um, we feed the power into that. So I now have my settings. Um, I never pull more than 24 amps on a 30 amp service. Uh, for those of you that are plugging in on a regular basis, uh, you really don't want to use more than about 80%. Um, this very well could have been a faulty plug. The wiring is good and strong in it. Um, hard to say. But if you're drawing a constant 28, 29, 30 amps and the sun's beating down on it, it goes, it goes poof in the night. So anyway, I digress. Um, we ran the 30 amps into the RV. Uh, we were able to run, you know, everything without draining our batteries. So we're pretty much topped off this morning and um, just getting ready to unplug and uh, bring up the jacks, check our trailer lights, do our regular checklist. We have a nice succinct checklist uh, that we walk through. Why don't we do that? Why don't we film that? So we've already done the inside, but let's, let's, uh, still turn off the lights on the inside, Yeah. Okay, my checklist is on my phone, so I, but I have it pretty well memorized. Basically, at this point, um, we uh, other than wrapping up the the jacks and everything, uh, we want to make sure that the uh, hitch is locked, um, good and tight, right? We got the safety pin there. I've got a lock on the back, and I've got the um, the breakaway cable. Um, if for some reason this unhitches, this cable will pull that little uh, plug there, plunger, and that'll um, that'll pull the set, put the brakes on the trailer. So the trailer will slow down and eventually stop. Um, and if we're hitting our brakes, it the trailer won't run into the truck. Uh, probably a mess at that point, but uh, it's a little safety thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the brake check, okay? We do this all the time. Um, if we pull into a, a gas stop, sometimes we do it. Um, anytime we, even if we don't unhitch, we, uh, we do this just to make sure that the lights are working and uh, uh, you guys can hardly see that, but those those are brake lights. Um, maybe you can see it. It's just good to constantly check this, and also check your brake controller on the tr on the trailer as you're pulling out. Just hit it. Um, make sure that if you're just idling and not on the gas, that it brings your truck and trailer to a stop. It shouldn't be a hard stop. It should be a nice, you know, relatively slow stop. If you uh, if when you hit the brake controller, most, most brake controllers have a little thing that you pinch. Um, if you hit that and you hear your tires dragging, you've got it set way too high. Um, but most of you know that. All right, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Look, look at my wife, this, this is how she treats me. Hang on here. You guys have to see this because I'm, 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 a, I'm an abused, abused husband. Um, okay, so so we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna hit the road. We're gonna hit uh, Flying Jays in Great Falls. Uh, we need to go 78 miles, and our range is showing 125. Um, so hopefully that's not lying too much, and hopefully we don't have to climb 20,000 feet. Um, Zoe, do you have any last words? Christina. Christina. No. No. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. All right. See ya. See ya.